The Nielsen rating is the standard metric for gauging the viewership of a TV show. But yesterday, for the first time, Nielsen reported uh, a report here that aims at offering at least a big picture view of our social media usage. If you're watching this show, chances are you already realize just how integrated social media is in our lives. But the report offered the following info. Social media is the number one specific way that Americans spend time online. It accounts for 22.5% of our internet activity. And in May, when the study was done, we spent over 53 million minutes on Facebook alone. The internet is not just nerds in basements, folks. We love you nerds in basements. This is just how everyone is staying connected. So is this report surprising to you? Not at all, because people make Facebook profiles for their dogs. Yeah. So at that point, I realized people are online probably way too much. Well, what's interesting is that when you, when you look at when, when the, the internet became a, a, a consumer-friendly thing, yeah. like I, I got my first AOL account in 1994. Oh, and so those were the days. Those were the days. My AOL account even before that. What? Yeah. Oh, I had man. one. Yeah, I because I, I think I was maybe in '92. Really? Yes, I was very early on with that AOL account, and I would switch out CDs to get extra free hours. Yeah, you know, 20 free hours. I remember those. I 20 remember those. 20 free hours a month. Oh my gosh, at uh, at 2400 baht. Yeah. You could dial I remember up. downloading a poster for Beverly Hills Cop 3, like me, like It's so still slow. downloading. Yeah, it's still getting there. Um, but uh, so what is what does this report mean to you? What it mean, well, in the early days of, I feel like. When when people were online, the, the AOL provided a very kind of walled off uh, um, experience of the web and then people discovered the web. Mm -hmm. Like, wow, we can have everything we want. And then people got scared and now have rushed back to Facebook, which is a very walled garden again. So it's like people want, they just want, cra by and large, people just want stuff hand delivered to them. Like, here's what you like. Here's this thing you like. Here's this place you want to eat at. Here's or you think you want to eat. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. They just people want to be told what to like and that and that's kind of what Facebook gives them. And it's cuz Facebook kind of makes it like a web that you can navigate within the portal. Like you're not really ever going out to see the sites. But which the is a fact bummer. that Nielsen got into the social media game does that say something about how they're legitimizing the web for well, ad the, dollars? Well, the, the old like the the, the 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 Nielsen the old TV model of how they track is so ridiculously antiquated, it's, it's something like, I mean, I don't know the exact number, but it's akin to a couple of thousand boxes around the country represent what gets made on television and what lives and dies. Yeah, it's yeah. a very small number of people when you consider how many people watch television. And want to consume content. And right? also how people are consuming yeah. content. Yeah. Just because you watch it on a, t a, on a computer or you watch it later, or you DVR it, like those numbers don't really count. And it's interesting, it's like DVR numbers count later, but it's like, Nielsen's and I think Nielsen's just trying to stay afloat. They're like, ah, oh, there's, a, there's ooh, a new internet, metric. right? Come on. <laughs> there, there's a new metric, and I think they need to create like, they need to create like a true viewing matrix of what's getting downloaded, what's getting purchased on iTunes, what's being DVR'd, what are people watching live, but they won't, they don't do that. And I think if they did that, they would be, they would discover that, um, that it's not exactly what they would think. It's, and I think a harder, it's a harder job ultimately now to gauge what media is being consumed yeah. because there's so many different outlets, there's so many ways you do it. In the old days, it was like someone had a notebook and they're like, I watched, you know, yeah, Magnum so yeah. 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 Network TV does not want actual numbers to be tracked because I do not think it would fall in their favor. Interesting. Yeah. The report is doing a lot though, is helping change some of the perceptions about who is online. Um, it says that more women view video and social networks than men and that people aged 55 years and above are actually starting to spend a lot more time online in the social network. So it seems like the demographic is starting to change shape, change shape a little bit. Just so they can tweet, get off my lawn at people. Well, yeah. advertising, <laughs> this can be really helpful for advertising purposes, maybe. Right. Well, well advertising, you know, it's not just the kids. And then the guys are probably, their video viewing can't be um, checked because they're on sites. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's, ah, that's that was my joke. What? That's exactly yeah. what's going on. <laughs> Um, but for you guys, you have podcasts. Would this help with ad the ad spend on in the podcast world? Also, that Nielsen is jumping in. It, it should. I mean, a podcast audience is is really, I think, about the best audience you can have because they form a relationship with the show mm -hmm. and they go out of their way to download it and they they they're very they're very cool they're and loyal, loyal and they yeah. pay they pay attention and and for me on on my podcast. I wouldn't advertise something, I wouldn't have a sponsor on the show that wouldn't be something that I wouldn't use. Like, I, yeah, I feel yeah. the same way. Like, I, like I've been offered sponsors to come on, but I don't like the sponsors that have been offered. I'm like, oh, I wouldn't want that. It'd be awkward like, for your audience. Yeah. You have your, your audience, like your audience for podcasts, it's such an intimate form of media that you, it's like they're your friends. And so yeah. you wouldn't say to your, you would, I guess I wouldn't go up to Paul and be like, 
Hey, Paul, uh, these, uh, these tampons are great. Oh, wait, like, but I thought what? we were friends. You know Please? me. That yeah, no, I can't have my These tampons anymore. are the most absorbent tampons you can buy. Oh, and... but, I'm, uh, but I'm barren. Well. Uh. <laughs> but in terms of social networks, the fact that they're tracking social media. <laughs> yeah. Can you, are you guys off yes. the tampons? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm imagining a, tampons. Yeah. I'm having a brain injury. Uh, but oh, yes. Yeah. The, fact that, right, the fact that they're tracking social media, do you think that Facebook will become a rating system? Like your Facebook page is number one rated. I think it, what, what you'll start, you've, you're starting to see it with like clout, you know, mm -hmm. like exactly. where, where they, they are creating this rating based on, you know, some sort of algorithm that takes into account all of the social media engagement of an entity. It's, yeah. it's an interesting thing because I feel like it's dangerous because it's not quite figured out yet. So I feel like there's, there's benefits where people are getting a lot of money thrown at them to yeah. kind of like, oh, we have done an algorithm and we think that you have this, so we're going to give you a lot of money. But yeah, and Comscore did a whole thing with YouTube a report, which changed, I think, the way we look at YouTube because yeah. they show that some people have bigger networks than real but people. But not only that, yeah. but, but people engage with different social networks in different ways. Yeah. And, you know, like, and, and Twitter is super fun, but it's a little bit more of a shallow engagement yeah. than, say, Facebook, where people will spend hours and hours diving into people's pages, you know, mm. versus... Uh, you know, MySpace yeah. and Friendster. Yeah, yeah. Holla! Yeah. You know, old right. school. Well, Do you still have your MySpace page? Oh, yeah, <laughs> totally. I'm on there all the time, just putting up new tracks. MySpace. Putting up me, just ripping on my guitar. <laughs> going to Dane Cook concerts. Hey, guys, I'm going to pick love one MySpace of, here. I'm right. going to pick one of the people right here to be in my top eight. All right, so just three. Can I make eight. a top eight? All right, yeah, you can be you in my top eight. You can make a top guys, 16. Oh, control. what? <laughs> well, one thing is for sure, you, you guys, are vital to our conversation <laughs> on every network. So keep tweeting us your thoughts and questions throughout the show at What's Trending using hashtag WTLab. Go do it right now.